Hey right guys, Trish Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of One Tree Hill Season 4. Uh, last episode we kind of had Pey Peyton, Peyton? <laughs> Peyton's brother being, a de the actual Derek being involved in the storyline and he's going to be out there on the streets protecting her apparently. I uh, wasn't the biggest fan of him to be honest but so I, had, I was having a couple of conversations with comments on Patreon and like saying like I agree with what he was saying just think that he worded it horribly <laughs> if that makes sense like I do agree with him that like Peyton at some point needs to be obviously in the house by herself and knows know how to protect herself if you know anything hopefully not happens like this again to when she needs to be able to defend herself in that situation um and not you know just depend on Lucas the entire time like I agreed with him on that but then there were just some things he said that I was just like you just sound like an idiot um so didn't like him but agreed with what he was saying to a point so I, again really Peyton still continues to have the best storyline this entire season so far really like Lucas uh Brooke's storyline not the biggest fan of but obviously I love Brooke uh Haley and Nathan's is good so I feel like we've got a good mix of like really good storylines a couple of not so good ones in there uh, but overall season four impressively impressively so far so episode seven if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to one tree hill then link to patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below by the time this one's on youtube obviously patreon will be around this episode on season five so quite far ahead <laughs> uh clip channel twitter instagram all that good stuff down below as well if you want to check out any of those but for now let's do this besides there's nothing wrong with the teacher coming up to check on his most promising student. His most promising, sexy, irresistible <laughs> student. Oh, bro! Where do you want these? Stop! <laughs> this guy. Over there. Fine. Thank Ezra you. Fix. That is just dab. <laughs> After the drugs. Following the stuff. Relax, I'm you know, They tried with a shot there, you know. Oh. That's like a different shot to the rest. Oh, someone pointed out as well that she wants to go to do. Let's appreciate this scene first. That's a cute dude. If they're like this for like nine seasons, I wouldn't be upset about that. If they're just happy. With like money problems, it's you know generic shit. What's all this stuff for anyway? Babysitting. Right, yeah. So my point was, it wasn't five week time skip last episode. It was about two to three weeks because they do two games uh, per week. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I thought it was a game every Friday. So it's been about two to three weeks, which makes actually more sense. <laughs> Bro. Right, please tell me you're a virgin. Uh, oh my god, I'm totally in love. What the fuck is going on? Jesus, I thought someone we'd say <laughs> in the 2022 dialogue there, Mal. Me? Join you and your friends. Well, let's no, just say let's not do that. Virgin tomorrow. Mal's gonna get addicted to crack and become a prostitute. That's the storyline we're going with for Mal. <laughs> for, for Hillary, look as scared as you can. She's like, okay, I'm gonna open my eyes really wide. In fact, Derek's still out. That, you know, other Derek. There's someone behind her there. There's literally someone behind her. How did you get in here? The question is, how didn't I get in? Pay more attention to home security? Hey, what are you doing here? I Fair point. <laughs> Unless you rather hang out here not feeling sorry for yourself. He's dropping points, unfortunately. Fine. I'll get you out of my house. I'll go to school. Fine, I'll drive you. It's still early days of him. He can win me. He can win me. Over. It's moving. It's 0800. I like the other Derek better. <laughs> Damn. Who? She said that to herself as well. Dante, that was like a Dante car. And Lucas and Skills are gonna see, and then, yeah, get sus. I know it's ten grand. Fifteen. What? Fifteen grand. Oh, you fucked it. You fucked it. I could forget the amount. Yeah. If. 
Ravens are favored to win by 10 points tonight. They, you can win the game, <coughs> just don't win it by more than nine points. Oh. Look, Nathan, I'm trying to help you out here. Damn. Before you get yourself in trouble, take the offer. We'll have my money tonight. You, why would you do this? You could have just got a job. You know those guys? Not personally, but I heard they're in a lot of bad stuff, though. So anything they want with Nate can't be good. You could have told Nathan this, <laughs> like last app. I knew, I knew it, I knew it. So obvious, mate. You got involved with Sons of Anarchy. Fifteen grand. <laughs> if I am so fat, why am I on the cover of Maxim? What? No, you're not. For the first time ever. No, Maxim you're not. Tom Hardy on the cover. And no, that, me. that didn't happen. <laughs> Just on the cover of Maxim. Oh yeah. I sneak out last night and meet him. You I mean, fair enough. Told him straight away. Told her straight away. I do like that her and Rachel are mates, to be fair. I'll give... You know, I'll give it that. <laughs> Bro, God, everyone looks like I want to kill her. Yeah, you should not be a school peer, I'm sorry. Can't imagine if Lucas didn't get there. My, uh, my back problems just won't let up. Yeah, because you're on crack. Perhaps physical therapy could help. Or those um those pills you gave me the last time they mm. fixed right Yeah, they fixed you riled, did they? Yeah, I'm sure these pills are making you feel better, but they are not the answer. <laughs> she just came you. clean. Oh yeah, I don't have back problems. I just actually want the drugs. You're right. I will make the appointment for you. No, she's gonna get she's gonna get him off the market now. The black market. No, you're not gonna steal the pills though. What are you doing? Oh, that's just, just this famous. Right. You are so hot. Did you hear that guy? I thought you liked high school girls. <laughs> After school, Miss Katina. Wrecked. <laughs> you know, I kind of I do like Rachel, but her storyline's trash at the moment. <laughs> if she has a better storyline, I'll be on board. She's more likable this season than last. Yeah, you're on that. What's going on? Now I know why they call you Mouse. <laughs> By the way, I that sounded well idiotic. <laughs> oh, what is happening? It's hot. Hey, you. I'm not calling her a tar, by the way. That was the name of the runway show. Came to check it out. Came to check you out. <laughs> and I had to ask you a question. Was she like better, red or blue? Mouse, just date her, please. I was trying to figure out what to wear tonight. On our date? Right. Mouse, don't, don't do not do it. Don't do it. Don't call it off. Okay, see you tonight. Mouse, yeah. don't be a prick. Hey guys, come on in. Good to see you. Hey guys, there's a boom mic in her gob? Listen, what the I fuck? Don't worry, I, uh... <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> that looks so unnatural. <laughs> But they ran off, yeah, shocker. I'd say nice spread, but that's probably inappropriate for a teacher. <laughs> Bet you wouldn't have a problem Shut up, that. mate. Aren't you her teacher, too? Oh, why would you even open with that line? Why would that be your opening line to the conversation you're about to have? I think we should close the door for this. What? What is going on? What's happening? What's happening? Why? What is happening? What is that drawing? <laughs> Her room was so much bad before. I don't know. I had a panic attack, I guess. So so you weren't fine, but she went to school anyway, just to prove me wrong. You told her to go, but she can make her own mind up, so it's not really a point. They don't curl in a ball and give up. Okay, look, you need to back off. She's had a rough day. It won't get easier with you babing her every step of the way. <laughs> you think you can protect her, but you can't. Kind of dropping so both of you realize that, the better. You know when the world backs off, Peyton, when you make it back off. Bye. He, he, sometimes he has a poor way of saying these things, but... He's a pain in the ass, but he's right. You should go too. I'm I mean, yeah, so pain is basically everyone's oh, thoughts on Brother man. Derek. Gotta learn to get by on my own. It'll be fine. Get by on my own. You sound well American, then. Well, he kept me after school today, and yeah. when we were alone, he yeah. hit on me. I understand that I feel like a boyfriend right now, and maybe... Is Rachel actually looking, looking out for her, or does she have an agenda? You know what? Never mind.
Because you did the whole, we're going to close the door for this, and like, you don't know. I agree with her, but I just don't know with Rachel. <laughs> just walk your Dad. Did she say a midget leg? <laughs> legs. What do you mean fine? That would never happen. You wouldn't be like, yeah, fine. Okay, yeah, good. There you go. Well, watch out, Ghost of Tsushima. Is this gonna be the bit where she's like, I don't know if I can do this, Nathan? What are you doing? Nazi zombies. Are you back? Promise. Who are you saying that to? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Unlucky. Damn it, Mom. <laughs> Damn it, yeah. If I saw my mum being arrested on the TV, that would be my reaction as well. Damn it, Mom. Aww. Huh. Guess Deb won't be making the game tonight. <laughs> uh, doesn't give a fuck. There are allegations that our newest teacher, Mr. Chavez, has been Has having sexual face. relations with a student. Rachel. We're told that student is you. Oh. You'll be fired. But they're not. What? And whoever said that to you is Why would she be fired? Oh, he'll be fired. I thought you were like saying. I thought you were saying like she'll be fired from like her runway thing. I was like, what? That doesn't even make sense. But he said he'll be fired. <laughs> He's such a suck on. <laughs> I thought she was a friend of yours. Why would she go to the principal? What? Are you okay? Brooke. Is it true? How can you even ask that? Especially since you hit on me. I mean, I don't know, mate. You literally opened the conversation. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I get the sense that this behavior is pretty typical for Rachel. Mm, yeah, but I'm okay. You know her so well, bro. How old do you know Rachel? What do you mean? How? What? She doesn't know. Oh my god, you've been in the show for like two minutes. What do you think? Bitching, right? Definitely. Where do they get these extras from? Get some dress. The bin. Here he goes. So. Which one of you whores is my ex-wife? <laughs> Copy! I knew it was coming! You came I knew he was going to say some cheesy-ass line. Yes. <laughs> but I also have a proposition. What is this I place? This fix. But you have to sign Trick back to Karen. Oh. <sighs> oh. You make this go away, and I'm not going to rehab. Oh, D for all I care, Deb. But you're signing Trick back over to Karen. <laughs> Yo. I'll see you on the outside, Boozy. Boozy, uh, let's give it a Keith's name. Yeah, you fucked it. I can't. Like, Dan's, Dan knows he's won here. Well, it's just that I was expecting you um, over an hour ago. Oh, she's about to Hello. cry. Hello? Pick up your kids! What are you. D oh my god. The crowd is electric tonight. Are they? I wouldn't say electric, Mav. I'd say they're. Fine. More than ever before, the crowd are fine. Congratulations, son. You're doing the right thing. But more important... Some machine gun Kelly. You're doing it the right way. Wildcats? Oh, you don't stand a chance. If they get Troy Bowen on that court, you are done. Hey, what are those guys doing here? How should I know? Boy, so you're talking to them on the river court. Dante and Jack's tell her right? again. Wildcats, they're done, they're done. They're, it's done. Stay in! No. Someone help this woman! Oh no, sorry, yeah, she needs to deal with this herself. Yeah, sorry. I didn't make it five minutes in there, go ahead. Call me a baby. You didn't make it one. I'm gonna call you a baby. I'm here to apologize. Oh, whoa. Look, if I promise to quit being a damn jackass, you think you could forgive me? Fair enough. I don't know. You have a choice. You can let it destroy you, or you can get up and fight. He's winning me over this app. Like I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Five minutes, huh? <laughs> tomorrow it'll be six. Okay. Hey. I mean, it wasn't one, so tomorrow it'll be two. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Watch out. He's going to miss on you. Yeah, Lucas knows. Lucas knows. He ain't, he ain't stupid. Lucas has grew, grew some brains recently, so. What's going on? With what? Okay, 
plane tonight. <laughs> Fair enough. You know you. you don't know anything. Well, I know you're having money problems. <laughs> and I know Dan didn't help you out. And oh, Luke is on it this season. Now you're playing like crap. It might be his best season, you know, Luke. What do they want you to do? I'm Nick? kind of vibing with him. What's the game? Lucas, don't. Okay, the only reason we've gone this far is because of me. <laughs> Besides, all anybody cares about is winning. Nobody uh, cares about the thing is, it well. doesn't end there. It keeps really going. Believe. Is there a problem here? My wife Camilla had a problem once, and then she died. I bet why you heard that. I bet you heard that. Maybe I don't know. I really need to stop being roommates with boyfriends stealing skanks, Peyton. Oh, this is oh, boring. Give these two about? a good storyline. Tell me what really happened. You went in, shoved your magazine spread in his face. And yeah, him? that's what happened. But you're just a slutty lying liar who lies. <laughs> Which what? <laughs> oh, I want a hot dog. No. And nachos! Oh, the hey, ultimate com- hey, And popcorn! Listen, these kids are driving me crazy. The game's already started. I'm completely- They're throwing popcorn in a face, bro! <laughs> then what did you do? Oh, I just beat some sense into them. Right. He said I'm kidding so quick, by the way. Look, no matter your feelings for me, this is the right thing to do. He has, he has a point, to be fair. Like, Deb should not be owning a trick. I mean, neither of them should. Karen ain't great either. Dan shouldn't, Deb shouldn't. Give it to Whitey. <laughs> that kind of anger used to eat me up. You know? Damn! You know, taking the pain head on, driving it back. I'm hoping you could do the same. Oh, I hope he becomes like a UFC fighter or something. That'd be well, sick. Yes, Pepe's a badass! <laughs> Put a picture of Derek on his face. Oh, the not real Derek, not Derry Derek. Look, they're gonna be looking to He's gonna throw the game for Nathan. He's gonna lose it for Nathan. Or not, you know, win the game, but no, nah, he's gonna throw Nathan a solid. Raven score one more point. Nathan Scott doesn't need this gym in one piece. <laughs> right, okay, well, you're gonna kill him. Oh, Lucas, to put this decision on him. Oh, no, I don't know what he's gonna do. Hang on, he threw it. Oh. I think there's still one, it's not that bad, I guess, and then I'll throw the entire game. And that would be the Ravens' eighth double digit victory of the season. <sighs> that does sound good, but. I don't know, I don't know what he's gonna do! Ah! <laughs> I literally don't want. The shot is up, but it's you know, yeah. There you go. Hey, it's still one. Hey, it's still one. Yeah, he fucked it. And that won't be the end of it, by the way. No way. No, 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 no. They'll be like, right, next game, we're going to need you to lose the whole thing. This. Everything cool, man? I love skills to Actually, pieces. Um, a nice girl who's kind of odd. Who'd you pick? Nice girl, kind of odd. Do it. That's the most beautiful on the inside. My boy. Man, crazy. <laughs> oh, no. Look, first of all, models ain't just walking around handing out party passes. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the skits comment. Ask kids like you. He might be, he's not the best character, but he's up there, he's up there. I was about to say he might be like one of the best, but they have a lot of great characters in the show. Here, blue -eyed, really loud and You've not lost him, Hayley. Hey, Nathan. Oh, Hayley and Nathan, I love him. <laughs> so cute. You try. Look at him! Oh my god. Number one ship. Not these two, God. Sure. Just heading out to get something to eat. Does he have a shrine of Brooke in his house? Yeah, yeah I'm starving. Let me just put my back down. Oh. Brooke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For believing your crap and betraying my friend. Is this over then? Thank you. Damn! Yo, that was a slap. Good job. Oh! <laughs> Yo, his head wobbled. <laughs> oh, let's go, bro. <laughs> His head wobbled. Jeez, I think she slapped like I don't know, his soul out of his body. Hi friend. Did you say hi friend? Thing. You'd never say that, but You were right. Finally these two can just be mates. And her and Chav Chav and Don. Yes, Val! Let's go. You look beautiful. These two need to be a couple, because they actually work. 
<laughs> Instead of Mouth going after like Brooke and all these characters that just don't make sense. Like I actually want to see her and him like on a date. That sounds cool. That's actually kind of sweet. Kick me wrecked. Get wrecked. You just or got not. bullied. Well, like our kid. Yeah, that's always the <laughs> the quote. A little time for Look at it, she's so dodged like it. Yes, Peyton! Yo, she looks sick! Come to terms with the past. Peyton's sick this suit. They all are. Peyton, Lucas, Nathan Haley. Rachel's better. No one says she's sick. Skills, yo, mouth. They're all bossing it this season. Now how hard it was for you to throw those points away. Lucas looks I'll badass at all. Mistake, okay? Point shaving was just a one-time thing. Is it though? It's no, it's not. No, it's not. Guaranteed. But for the things we didn't do. Lucas whipping out these the things we didn't say. Quotes. You know I'll always be there for you. Oh! I love it. Lucas is sick. But never again. Yep, Fez. Fez. Lucas is sick this season, I'm just, uh, you know, he's always been like that character. I've always said he's been like the same spot over and over again, like good. But this season is what we can see. The dark storm set it their way. Yeah, that's, we all know that's coming. Look at him. Look at his evil eyes. He's like ready to like murder someone. <laughs> oh, what a great episode. This season's better than three so far, I'm saying it. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that because everyone said three is the best, but based on what I've seen... Again, that could change, but based on what I've seen, this is better than season three. What a great episode. Like, who do we even start with? We'll get the worst story out of the way. I'm glad the Brooke and Chav Chav Chavez um, storyline seems to have wrapped up. Or not wrapped up, but you know, that seems to be done. Um, I do, like her and Rachel being mates, that's like the best part about it. Like, I want them to, to be mates and just have like a good storyline. So hopefully we can have that. But yeah, Brooke was the weakest part of the episode, uh, for sure. But everyone else was pretty good <laughs> it was pretty good nathan taking the money we knew that was going to be bad um like he we knew he'd got himself involved with some bad people and that's not going to be the end of it either like there's going to be more to it like they're going to keep pushing to be like okay now you gotta lose the game now you gotta lose by this many points now you gotta win by this many it's just going to keep going and keep going it doesn't end so i don't know how he's going to get out of this but we shall see but i liked I do like the storyline, like I think it's interesting him being involved in this and then Lucas knowing about it and uh, having to make the decision himself whether to throw the game, or not throw the game, but you know, to go down Nathan's path of getting the money wiped, even though it's clearly not going to be, um, or winning it by more points, so yeah, I really like Lucas this season, he's uh, like involved with the Nathan storyline, he's really good as well. But on top of that, like how he's being involved with Peyton, I think is really good. So Peyton storyline, like she's just this badass, like punching the shit. Oh, yo, I love it. And Derek as well, like the, the actual Derek. I feel like we have to keep. I'll just say Derek and Eminem. Other Derek can be Eminem from now, or Derenem. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, Derek was way better this episode. I felt he. He apologised for acting like a bit of a knob um, and he's sticking around and then he's actually, you know, like I said in the last episode anyway, he's giving good advice and actually helping her out. So, yeah, I like I like him. I hope he sticks around for a little bit. We'll see. And Peyton's just, Peyton's cool. Peyton's cool this season. She's had such a good storyline. Like, she's had a good storyline where she's just normal Peyton and then since she's found out, she's kind of had this turn to how she is now, which I really like. So, we'll see where it goes. Hope they keep up with that. Uh, Deb doing my head in. Like, Deb was one of my favourite characters in season one and no, not two. Season one and some of season three. Season two, she was crap. And season four here, she's been crap as well. You know, it's addiction, I get it, but it's like, <laughs> it doesn't mean I have to like a character, I don't. Uh, so she signed away Trick. Dan, I think, again, I still feel like they're saying of Dan and Karen to kind of have a little thing. We shall see on that, but yeah, I do think it was the right decision for Karen to have that and not them. <laughs> She's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, Haley looking after, or babysitting, looking after these two kids. I thought that was a good little storyline of her, like, realising how hard it's probably going to be. And then her being like... But then the, the moment where she saw Nathan with them, it was, like, kind of brought back and being like, you know what, yeah, this will work, because 
it'll be her it'll be her kids like they're not going to be bought up and the mum clearly doesn't give a shit about them like she wasn't there to pick them up on time so that's probably why they're the way they are like i always say it's always down to parenting um but you know her and nathan are going to be hopefully good parents so i don't think they need to worry about that too much but uh is that everyone oh mouth i'm glad he picked tracy over deb jr or whoever that was like i just kind of want to see them on screen a little bit like they you know her, her him and tracy kind of work a little bit like I say him going after brooke and all these other characters that just aren't going to happen uh it doesn't make it makes me annoyed him because he just has the same personality over and over and over again whereas at least this it's like it's something more could come from his character hopefully and well i guess we'll wait and see on that one but yeah rating i'm gonna give this a 8.3 out of 10 i think it was a great episode i really enjoyed it all the storylines worked for me like i said apart from brooke i'm, just, I'm not that her whole storyline this entire season so far like the pretending to, pretending to be pregnant was better but then chalice came into it and it was just like this mini ezra fit storyline from pretty no liars uh but her and rachel seem to have you know formed a bond there at the end so hopefully more can come from it now we shall see but yeah 8.3 out of 10 for this one thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed them know you thought the episode down below in the comments and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to one tree hill the link to patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below and i'll see you next time for episode eight until then take care peace